Hello. Oh, good. And now we're on the fucking stage driving the car. Oh, look. And those two are watching. Oh, they're all here. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> when you didn't die? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Your memories or my memories? Because this is my dream. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. Alright, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? This is why you shouldn't eat just before bed, which is exactly what the fuck went down in episode two. They all ate at 10 o'clock at night. It's now half midnight, or 1 a.m. based on the text times. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? No. Oh, fine, let's just go along with it. <laughs> fine, it's... <laughs> The spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? <laughs> this fucking sucks. Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family is it real this whole thing it it's it's all just theater well you know what william shakespeare said the world's a stage yes something about the whole world being a stage so might as well act the fuck out of it? Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Oh, this is so dark. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Dad. Dad! Oh, God, there's blood. This is a horrible dream. This is why you don't eat cheese before bed. Victoria Chase, you fucking bitch! Oh, am I going back to my actual house? Good God! Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? David! Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Fucking.
It's not even pushed the bed back. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've got to help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. And he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Oh god, okay. I have to actually do something now. Uh, come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? Uh, I, it would mean a lot to me. Because Frank gives a shit about me or my friends. I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Me in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... That went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be... Fucking amazing. Alright, sure. God, we don't want any of this shit. It's dirty. There's a box. I don't need the box. Computer. Figures. Oh, hello. So there's one article in which she won an award. Um, what? Where? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Ah. Rachel really is good at everything she does. So that's when we, yeah, that's when we trash the whole bathroom. The review of the oh yeah, the Arcadia Bay Online News. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> uh, I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise than Miss Bryce's authentic astonishment. Newcomer, the real star tonight in the role of Ariel, or Ariel, depending on how you say it, was newcomer Chloe Price, whose chemistry with Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda and Ferdinand. Yay! We were good at shit. Hang in there, Skip. Uh, oh, God, Skip from Pisshead. Pisshead, your album comes out in the main game, so you're all right, Pisshead, don't worry. Don't worry, I know I, I took the piss, pun intended, about, you know, the dame. But you did good. That's not helped anything, has it? We just span it. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. California. Here we go. Stan Wickier, bringing you up to the minute coverage oh, hello. of stuff that's interesting on 87.9 The oh, Cedar. Oh, I want my report card. I'm about to rack up a lot more ups and sleep. Ah, ah. Keller, drug use in okay. Oh. What the plant? What the plant? We've got to do that. Uh, better than nothing. No, don't water the plant. Oh, fucking hell. Right, let's just leave. I don't want to hear. I shouldn't have turned that radio on. I didn't want to hear about drugs. Is mom playing music? Huh. I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yup. 
I've had it with the school. No one gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh, man, when you try to drug someone, it bites you in the ass. It's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe. No, fuck you, Victoria, and your shady ass ways. How dare you drug someone? The fuck is wrong with you? Also, Rachel. Uh, are we still going? Oh, yeah, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. You already miss me. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, no. Um, thank you for being there, etc., etc. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? You should done throw it out, girl. Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Gross. Oh, manly grip pomade. Pomade? That might be pomade, actually. It's some sort of pasty shit you put in your hair if you're a man. Nope, not there. No awesome pirate towel. You have an awesome pirate towel? Where the fuck is it? Score. Yeah! Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. <gasps> Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Hair dye! Hair dye! Oh, here we go! <sighs> Ready for the best shower of my life. Let's do it. Fucking dye your hair, girl. We want it to be blue. Your mom's gonna love it. Well, you bought it ages ago. Don't drop the soap. Ha <laughs> ha. no bath mat. What's wrong with you? Where's that water going to go? Oh! I see! We're doing a little bit at a time. Nice! God, you're stealing your dad's clothes. Excellent. What do I feel like wearing on this easy ass day? Um, oh, bonus outfits. Punk dough. What's the punk dough one? Wow, Jane, there's a dough. Uh, no, I can't have that. Let's cramp in some Max style. I will check the hot dog out, please. Oh, or I want to give the classic Chloe pre-order. That's what we fucking want. Yes! There we go, it's back. I'm staying in this. I know she wanted to change her clothes, but I've been rocking this since whenever I had the choice. So, I think I want that. I'm going to just check and see if there's other stuff. Just just double check, but probably go back to Awesome Chloe. Uh, that's the skull. 
What's the skull look like? Ah, yes, 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 we're going with this. We're going with this. Oh, no, we're not. I've accidentally clicked off of it. We have to get back. I fucked up. Or this might work. Uh, just skull. Yeah, there we go. Fixed it. All right. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Yep, because I remember us getting upset about... Um... Hang on, I just want to check I've not missed anything. Remember her getting upset? Upset? Sorry, I've got into Zylus mode. Um, upset about the toolbox that David had being bigger than her dad's toolbox. If I go downstairs and they're fucking dancing, I'm going to be very unhappy. Can I steal anything from this room? I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Shit. David really is moving in. It's Mother's Day. What have I got that I could give her? Would you like a, 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 a car calendar? Oh yeah. Sports cars are really good for... Uh... Hot red flames. I don't think my mother would appreciate chicks. Flames. Lots of flames. Beautiful. Beautiful graffiti there. Got a cheese for doing it. I'll look what that is up later. You got anything else? I really hate that mom keeps hiding this photo. Seriously, girl? I know. I know why you have to hide it, but come on. I wonder who gave this to mom. Prepare yourselves, everybody. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Zero. Prepare yourselves, they're probably slow dancing or some disgusting old people thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Yep. Now you can flip them. Uh, uh, uh. Um, I'm just gonna leave, to be honest. I. Uh, the flowers are weird. Come on, David. You're slacking on that. I'm glad she's happy, but oh god, I don't want. I don't. I. I don't want it. Chloe doesn't want to see it. Although it is, it's a. I can see why. If it's Mother's Day, this is horrible because she's come home, and a part of Chloe is very like egotistic and wants the attention, despite not. If that makes sense. So, she's now come home. On Mother's Day to discover that they don't actually really know that she's even gone. That must suck. 
but arguably you left in the first place. Hey, who's there? Hey. <laughs> Chloe! Your hair! When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. And that shirt. Oh, I haven't seen it in ages. Uh. Ooh. I'd smother much. It's a bit harsh, you know? I was out of clean clothes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd be coming home. Ooh, mother. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, I have to go. Oh, wow. Well... Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm hanging out with Rachel. Yeah, yeah. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh! How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Does he? It won't take but a minute. Is he going to apologize? For being a little too harsh? Mom. Because that approach does not work on Chloe. We know that. It just makes her more like, uh. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David. David. The idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Good. But he searched. Ooh, that's, I, no, maybe we just, oh fuck, I don't know. Do we call him? That's gonna make it worse, you know? It's gonna blow up. We know it's gonna blow up because in the main game it blows up, but I think I'm just gonna roll with it. No pun intended, because drugs are related. Roll, well, yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it. And then... We'll just see how it plays out. Well, this sounds like it's doomed to fail. But hey. Oh, God! Kudos <laughs> for trying. Chloe. What? I really meant it. Good job. Glo like, come on, Chloe. Can we be done now? You do not make it easy for me. Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... meaning to show you something. Maybe... Maybe now's a good time. Is it David backstory? This 
is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... killed. Near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. You don't, because you're not helping her with it. You're just sort of blazing on. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. I mean, I appreciate it, David, but... Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Do I have a choice? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. Oh, for God's sake, David. Fine, I'll take your fucking offer, David. But only to show you that I have depth. Unlike you, you have no depth. You are an asshole. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Also, yeah, I, it just he, he isn't he isn't hand like the, the grief thing. It's just handled in different ways. Like we've covered this in the last episode, the one before, and even in the main game, she's not over her dad, and your way of handling it is so not right. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom. Oh, God. I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, the toolbox. That's what we came downstairs for. What the hell? Yeah, this is not cool. They've packed everything, haven't they? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? Oh yeah, we graffitied it. Because <laughs> we're naughty. <laughs> 